you are the face, I guess, of Brexit. You are the person, I think, that most people would associate with that monumental decision. Why now, Nigel? Because I've watched uh, a Prime Minister who stands up and says, Brexit means Brexit. We're taking back control of our laws, our money, our borders, and then does the opposite. And this checkers plan that was put forward a couple of months ago basically meant we weren't really leaving at all. You know, we would leave the European Union in name, still be wrapped up in all of it, no prospect for how we're going to get our fishing waters back, no prospect of dealing with open door migration. Um, and we face, over the course of this autumn, a very crucial moment. So, in October, we are supposed to conclude the negotiations and come to a decision. And the problem is, the Brexit debate is, is taking place in Westminster. The Brexit debate is taking place between political parties. The Brexit debate is dominated by the personal ambition of people in politics. And it's now dominated by negativity. You know, millions could die, is the British Medical Association story this morning. You know, we're all going to lose our jobs. House prices you will collapse. Right, Nigel. Uh, well, they, well, they've been wrong every time in the past. You know, I heard all this 20 years ago. If you don't join the Euro, the country's finished. Well, thank goodness we didn't listen to them then. So the problem is, nobody is engaging the British public. So my plan is to get back out on the road, to do all the things we did in the Brexit campaign, and that's giving out millions of leaflets, having street stalls, big public rallies. And I trust the voice of the people more than the politicians.